Uh, well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are taking a little tour of the bay this morning, showing off some of the boats. These cool cats, because they're in, uh, well, like most sailors, they're always interested in looking at other boats. Maybe they'll buy, maybe they won't. But I'm hoping that the, if they do decide to get a bigger boat, and leave the Mediterranean behind that it'll join me out here on the Pacific Northwest one of these we days. I also hope that. Yeah? Yes, I love this Very area. possible. Very yeah. possible. Actually. The fact that you're saying that on such a cold, like these guys are visiting me on the coldest days of the winter, which by the way, if you're gonna visit me out of the boat, don't come in the winter. <laughs> it's awful here in the winter time. But uh, the fact that you guys are saying that this time of year is means something that you actually do like it out here. Oh, I love it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is my home. So. I don't like it right now. <laughs> I can't believe I'm whining like this. I'm from Ontario. We should be totally <laughs> fine. Like, it's negative 40 there for two months. I should be fine with this, but I'm not. <laughs> I don't like it. But we have thought a lot about yeah. motor boats, motor solar electric boats instead of a sailboat. And so I've added another motor boat to the fleet of boats that I'm taking care of. Uh, this is a buddy Larry's boat, one of his many boats here in the bay, and I have offered to keep an eye out on it, and that also means taking a quick tour of it. Oh, oh wow, there's a lot of rot in here. <laughs> oh boy. Here's the engine. Big bugger. And there's some rot. Yeah. It's a thing, a lot of these cool motor boats, these wooden boats, are quite neglected. They have a lot of space, but uh, you buy them, you buy them real cheap, and they are, well, they're quite expensive to repair because there's just so much rot, unfortunately. It's always nice to see a boat that's in even worse repair than mine. It puts my woes into perspective. Oh, oh boy. Larry's got his work cut out in here. One of the many things I've really had to puzzle over since uh, having these two visit is the actual practice of sailing and moving my boat around. Since my boat will be in part a motor sailor um, more than just a regular sailboat. So there'll be a lot of time where I'm actually motoring into the wind and a little pilot house like this makes that prospect a lot more comfortable. So I'm trying to toy around with how to incorporate that into the design I already have going on my boat where to fit everything and, and where to actually steer the boat from because although it's nice to have a boat with good lines and beautiful sails and everything, it's also nice to have a boat that's just comfortable. <laughs> I want to get to that point. Interesting. So in this episode we have learned a lot from these two and actually I learned something about Gabriel that I didn't know from these two that this is now my new official haunt. This is called The Hive and it's a little coffee shop on top of a clothing store with the fastest Wi-Fi in Gabriola and you guys found it. Yeah we did. So One cold morning. <laughs> we're actually here not for the Wi-Fi but for the heat right now. All right, we're taking a little uh, break from the not doing work and we're gonna get some of these windows onto the boat. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, you, uh, from Budget Glass and I'm glad to be part of Simon's adventure today. Perfect. <laughs> hey, nicely done. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We got only one more window to bring over, but it's so freezing cold over here. I can barely feel my fingers anymore. Yeah. It's yeah. Not fun. But we almost made it. Oh, we're almost there. We haven't broken anything yet. Yeah, so that's yeah. good. And it's not raining, it's not snowing. What else do we want? Beautiful girls in bikinis. <laughs> Okay, well, Aladino's so gung-ho that we're gonna take this big 240-pound beam. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm already dreading this because I've done two already. I know what this is gonna be like. Uh, is, uh, is, look at these young puffs. They have no idea what they're in for. <laughs> but I'm not gonna show that on camera because I know how tough it's gonna be and uh, we don't have time or effort to get this on camera. But just assume hard work, screaming, a little bit of crying, emotional moments and then we'll cut to the next scene, okay? <laughs> All right, we got the beam on board. Those guys made pretty quick work of it, and we're gonna go check out Mike's little studio here. After the storm, he decided to take some time off of the water, and he sold his caboose, got himself a little studio here on the land, and he's been working hard on his artwork, so let me show you what he's made. Nice. Renewable, too. So cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's his male and female. That yeah. It's the relationship. Yeah. 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 Mike's been working really hard here. He's hopefully gonna have an art show on the island coming up soon. So he's had to prepare a lot of these pieces and uh, hopefully it'll help him fund getting a camper van and getting that all set up. So I'm excited for him. And if you guys are interested in his artwork, I'll include a link in the description. You can go check it out because uh, yeah, I want to see this guy back out on the road and yeah. seeing the world a little bit. He might not want to do it on the water. That's that fine. You could always use him as crew anyway, yeah. right? Did you see the detail? First face. Third. Yeah, two grumpy old guys. <laughs> and you get this beautiful color. That's out of my studio for me. We did manage to get those uh, windows on board. We managed to get the beam on board. And of course, we're gonna knock out the chore of walking the horses, which doesn't really work. It's kind of fun. So we can do that right now and uh, catch the last bit of this sunshine. Come here, pork chop. Let's go, come on. What are you doing? Move it or lose it, let's go. Well, come on. Do you want the snacky snack? That's what I thought. Food motivated this one. Doesn't do anything unless it involves delicious snacks. See, as soon as she gets a snack, stops. Uh, all right, we'll get the lead.
We're back on the boat, and tonight's the last night I'm getting to spend with these two clowns, and I've really enjoyed my time with them. They haven't been able to wrestle me away from the countertop. Ever since I have a countertop, I'm starting to really enjoy cooking again. And, uh, well, tonight, since it's their last night, they're letting me take the day off, and they're going to cook me a delicious little dinner. Chef Aladino, what's on the menu? Um, we got... Pasta, of course, and then uh, we'll have some tomato sauce uh, topped with some uh, sausage, sausages, and uh, spice, and sausages, of... spice, and everything nice. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, wait! Isn't that everything I always eat, anyways? Uh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> sausage, spice, and always nice. Yeah. <laughs> Many of you have been requesting uh, more cooking footage, and I'm sorry I haven't shown it because most of the time I'm literally cooking with a can opener. It's not very pretty. Um, thank you to Jeff for sending out like a million cans of soup, by the way. Um, you're awesome. Also, I'm really sick of chicken noodle, but you've kept me alive through the winter, which is great. It's really nice to have somebody else to cook for, for once. This is great. I like this. Sausage, kale, rigatoni. Some red sauce, delicious. You've outdone yourself, Aladino. Thanks. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. It's nice having sailors on board who don't mind. Then we had a delicious dinner. I've had a really fun time hanging out with these two guys. Um, if you enjoyed today's video and you enjoyed the music, especially on today's video, that's all Maya. Yeah, so definitely go check them out. I'll include a link in the description. And don't forget to check out if you're interested in Mike's art and an email that you can reach Mike at and a link to Maya and Aladino's channel, Sailing Magic Carpet. So check them out. Thanks so much for watching and uh, see you guys tomorrow.